Okay, this um, is to introduce the uh, IMO Jaguar Cub range of variable speed drives. This one in particular is the Cub 3A, which is the smallest one in the range, and it's driving this small motor here for demonstration purposes and for experimentational purposes. And um, effectively, this thing converts single phase mains into three phase. Uh, for this motor and um, the bigger ones in the range are three phase to three phase so the three phase in three phase out but when you get it you can take this cover off here and this reveals the signal terminals and then if you take this cover off here this reveals the mains connections and um, if we zoom in there a little bit I go in there. You should be able to see I've connected live, neutral, and earth on the inputs, and the three phases are coming out here on UV and W at the bottom, and they're going to the motor. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple of videos in chunks to demonstrate, first of all, the variable speed. So I'm going to program it now to operate at a lower speed when one of these terminals is uh, given a 1. Now on this, on these inverters there is a, a 24 volt power supply inside them. So there's 24 volts available on this PLC terminal here. And you can use that to pulse these other three here, X1, X2 and X3. Now with this particular model, you can have up to seven different frequency settings um, from the um, combination of those three inputs. So all I want at the moment is just another frequency. I want to get it down to half speed. So I'm going to set function CO5 to 25 Hertz. So the way you do that, let's zoom in again so you can see what I'm doing. We um, press program and I'm after the C codes so it's uh, go up to C so it's these C codes I'm interested in, and I'm going to set C05. So I'll go up to oops, C05, and now it's asking me for a frequency. So if I increase that, say, to 25 hertz, it's to two decimal places there. So I'll just keep my finger on the button here. That's exactly 25 hertz. If I press the function data button again, it'll save that. So it's now saved in its memory. So now I've selected a particular speed. But to actually enable them proper, I need to set x1, x2, and x3 with the right data. So X1, X2 and X3 need to be set to 2, 1 and 0 respectively. So terminal 1, which is X3, goes to 2, X2 goes to 1 and X1 goes to 0. So we need to go into EO1 to EO3. So let's have a look at that again. So we go into E and go oops try that again e e01 and that's got to be set to zero which it is then e02 
is set to 1, which it is, and NaO3 is set to 2, which it is. So we can go back and that's set now. So effectively we've enabled X1 to alter the speed to that pre-programmed 25 hertz. So if I now zoom out from there and if I run the motor so get back to zero here I'm running the motor and it'll accelerate up to 50 hertz and if I tap if I put this on X1 now it should slow down to 25 hertz So it's slowed down to 25 Hz. As soon as I take it off, it accelerates within 6 seconds back up to 50 Hz. Okay, so uh, that's that. And then what we'll do next on the next video is to get it to go forwards and reverse by using the other terminals on there. Thanks very much.